Dr. Samir Parikh. I am a gastroenterologist affiliated to Lilawati Hospital and Research Center for last over 15 years. We started the hospital with the facilities for outdoor patients and indoor admissions and we have state-of-art endoscopy department. We have very good facilities for radiological imaging. We can do laparoscopic surgeries on our patient. The commonest cause of seeing a gastroenterologist for general population is dyspeptic symptoms that is patients having upper abdominal pain, discomfort, gas bloat, bowel disturbances. This forms about 70% of our work at the hospital. What is important for us to identify is which of these patients have serious illness and we, we look at their symptomatology and decide upon whom we should admit, whom we should endoscope. So, we do proper screening of our patients, their symptomatology, and then decide the investigations and the plan of actions. But the hospital is a one-stop hospital for evaluation of all GI disorders. It be liver disease, it be disease of the pancreas, it be gallstone disease. As we have facilities for intensive care unit, we have facilities for endoscopic surgeries, we have facilities for laparoscopy. We've even recently started doing liver transplantation. The second group that we see very commonly in our uh, patient population is jaundice patients, those who have chronic liver disease and majority of them have alcohol as the etiological factor. So alcohol in general population produces two major issues. One of them is chronic liver disease and the other is chronic pancreatitis. Both these disorders are absolutely preventable if you see patients on regular intervals. Metabolic disorders which include diabetes, blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, visceral obesity do produce fatty liver disease. So very often patients see us because the ultrasound shows a liver which is fatty and this fatty liver needs to be differentiated from benign fat versus those who have progressive liver disease. So that's an important area that the community needs to know that all fat inside the liver is not benign. Some of them require investigations and proper treatment. The third group that we see is intestinal disorders, including tuberculosis and inflammatory bowel disease, of which Crohn's disease is on the rise. All these patients present with abdominal pain, weight loss. Some of them have fever. And at the hospital, we identify the diagnosis first and accordingly treat them. Thank you.